Today, for day 19 of Vlogmas 2020, I'm very excited to bring you another completely spontaneous and unscripted episode of Americans Eating Mince Pies. Hi, Dad. Hello, Andrea. Hi, Mom. Hi, honey. What are you doing? I brought you some mince pies to taste. Mince pies, all right. They're in the Tupperware on... I've been looking at them. On the ledge. Mince pies. Mm. Can you wait, or do you have to try it, try it right now? Well, there's three for me and one for you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they look good. There you go. Why do you have greens in your hand? Well, I was um, in the process of decorating out here when we got a surprise visitor this morning. They're kind of sticky. Sticky's the best kind. I like it. It is apple-y. Very good, honey. Very good. I like it. Good. Because I have a whole nother jar of mincemeat. <laughs> we can't keep up this two mince pie a day habit we've developed. <laughs> so you guys have got to help us out. Every time I go to Trader Joe's, I just go hog wild. I can't help myself. They have so many great things. So here uh, are some, <laughs> yes, some, of the things I got at TJ's yesterday. I'm going to put together a holiday box for my parents so that they have plenty of snacks through Christmas Day. Uh, I got those cookies my mom loves. I'm going to make some candied nuts. Uh, I got caramel corn. We got cheese straws. Popcorn. Peanut butter pretzels that Leah already broke into last night. So this morning I'm going to get started making all of the other things that are going to go into this hamper. Hi everybody and welcome to day 20 of Vlogmas 2020. It's in the evening now, the sun's just gone down, and I've had a pretty busy weekend. I haven't picked up the camera a whole lot, but I do have a little bit of footage of what I got up to yesterday, which was mostly going to the outside world to pick up snacks for this final week of the festive season. I also had a chance to knit some more on my Cozy Knitter Advent Socks. In fact, I just need to put the heels in and I will be done. So I'm going to go ahead and show the whole sock now. If you have the Cozy Knitter 2020 Advent Skein and you don't want to be spoiled on the very last stripes, now is your chance to look away. So I have started the heel on one and there they are in all of their beautiful stripey glory. This was a really fun project to knit. 
Of course, as every knitter knows, stripes always make you knit faster. This yarn was also very pleasant to knit with. And I think the colors were really beautiful. So I am, as I said, just working on that one heel. Put the other heel in and then I am gonna cast on those other socks. I did save both of my advent skeins to open with you guys today. So let's see what day 19 was. Here it is. Oh, look at that. That is so pretty. See, a, you just, you can't go wrong with a good blue. A good, solid, beautiful blue. Well, tonal, beautiful blue, but you know what I mean. Oh. Gorgeous. All right. I can't wait. Day 20. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, I don't even have words for that one. That's how pretty that one is. This advent calendar has been so great. I've loved every single one of these colors so much. Gorgeous, beautiful. <laughs> Let's also open days 19 and 20 of the Rituals Advent Calendar. It looks like they're both going to be full-size products tonight. Ooh, day 19, can't get it out. <laughs> Okay, I got it. It's the Ice Sport Shower Gel. It's a pretty good size too. That's the other thing that's great about this calendar is that all of the products are pretty large. I actually haven't even used up everything from the calendar I got last year. But now, oh. And the scent of this is organic bamboo and Japanese mint. That sounds nice. Refreshing. Here's day 20. Oh, I'm gonna be so clean after this day. This is Velvety Smooth Cleansing Foam, scented with Moringa and Holy Lotus. That's good stuff. Sunset here tonight was officially 4.38 p.m. because tonight is the winter solstice, the longest night of the year. The actual time of the solstice here in Mountain Time is going to be 3.02 this morning. I'm not sure I'll be up to celebrate it at that time, but I did manage to get outside and get a little bit of footage of the sunset on tonight, the longest night. I hope that all of you stay warm and cozy and safe throughout this longest night, and I will see you tomorrow when the light returns.